He's one of the NBA's greatest ballers, but all his tremendous talent is no match for his temper. These are five times that Russell Westbrook lost his cool. One, Westbrook is a no-no. Russell Westbrook's tenure in California has been far from a dream. As a Los Angeles Laker, Brody has been getting booed out of the building. The team's poor performance has been hugely disappointing to Laker fans, and Russ has taken more than his fair share of the blame. As a result, followers of the Purple and Gold have decided to tweak Westbrook's name, dubbing him West Brick. The former MVP has flown off the handle multiple times in the season already, jabbing back at his crowd of haters. And he's made it clear he's not going to stand for people trashing his legacy. It hit me like, damn, I can no longer allow people saying Westbrook as an example, shaming my name. My name is a legacy for my kids. Russell Westbrook. 2. Showing a report of the ropes Westbrook's time in LA hasn't just seen him lose it with the home crowd, reporters have also felt Russ's rage. A journalist asked Brody if the disastrous season had been all that Russ had imagined. Westbrook did not appreciate the question. What did I envision? Is the season over? Is the season over? No. Thank you. What did you envision? Since you spoke for me, I want to know what you envisioned. Russell Westbrook Russ has been especially touchy since joining up with LeBron in LA. Former NBA star Gilbert Arenas offered his insight into why Westbrook has been taking his struggles in LA so personally. He's LA. He loves the city. So when they boo him, it's actually personal for him. Gilbert Arenas Russ's time as a Laker may not be going to plan, but Brody was losing his cool long before he touched down in Cali. 3. Trading Jabs with Jazz Fans While playing for the Washington Wizards in 2019, Russell Westbrook made headlines thanks to an ugly confrontation with two fans of the Utah Jazz. The fans had allegedly used racist language towards Westbrook, understandably drawing anger from the former MVP. Brody stood his ground and then some. He fired back with some threats. It resulted in the NBA fining Russ $25,000 for directing profanity and threatening language to a fan. Although we're sure the term fan was being used loosely here. The pair did deny using any racist language. The two abuse hurlers even filed a lawsuit against Westbrook after they'd been banned from attending any more jazz games. It was unsurprisingly dismissed by a judge. As unsavory an incident as it was, it wouldn't be the last time things between fans and Russell Westbrook got heated. 4. The Popcorn Pour not long after his incident in Utah, Russ made some more enemies. This time, it was in the city of brotherly love. As Westbrook was being helped down the tunnel after suffering an injury, a Philadelphia 76ers fan dumped popcorn on Russ. Westbrook flew into a rage. He had to be held back by security. The Sixers fan was banned by the Wells Fargo Arena and the organization, and fellow NBA stars condemned the idiotic actions of this onlooker. Westbrook himself was clearly fed up. I'm all for the fans having fun and enjoying the game, but there are certain things that cross the line. Russell Westbrook This guy saw the line, and he took his bucket of popcorn and just walked right past it. 5. Triple-Double Ejection When Westbrook grabbed his first triple-double as a Laker, he also contributed 10 turnovers to really stuff that stat sheet. The LA outfit had blown a 26-point lead, and with just a few seconds left in the game and just one chance for the Lakers to avoid taking the loss, the Oklahoma City Thunder's Darius Basley stole the ball. Basley raced up the floor and slammed it home. Game over. Russ did not appreciate the dunk. Brody went off on Darius Basley. Officials quickly ejected the Lakers' point guard, and Westbrook's post-game explanation didn't make a whole lot of sense to most fans. When shit like that happens, I don't let it slide. There's certain things you just don't do in sports. Russell Westbrook Was Westbrook being a sore loser? Well, I think we can agree that Basley did nothing wrong. But Russ lost his school regardless. Whether he's a victim or a villain, Westbrook could certainly make things easier on himself by letting his game do all the talking from now on.